Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain how to create an alert dialog, how many different types of alert dialogs we can create, how to customize them by using styles and also how to create custom dialog using layout file. So let's get into the project now. I have created a simple Android app project for you. So let me run and show you first. So these are the alert dialogues, different types of alert dialogues we are going to create in this video. Simple alert dialogue, traditional single choice dialogue, persistent single choice dialogue that is radio buttons and persistent multi choice dialogue that is check boxes and the custom dialogue. So before dealing with these dialogues, we have to first add some libraries related to the dialogues that is material uh, component UI libraries. So I will show you how to add those libraries first. Go to build.gradle file and here you can add implementation those libraries whatever you wanted to add or go to project structure dependencies and select the app module and click on the plus icon there and search for the library whichever the library you wanted to add. I have searched for the material library and once you find that material library you can click on ok button after adding required library files let's go to the project files open alert dialogs java file and also layout file these are the two different important files we are going to deal with throughout the video to create different alert dialogs first i will create a method in the alert dialogs java class to handle on click events for the buttons mentioned in the alert dialog screen. Here I have already specified IDs for the buttons. So take the ID and check for the ID to add specific action for every button. So get the ID from the view variable and add a switch case for the ID. Now go to XML file and add on click action for first button that is simple alert dialog. Now go to the activity class add a method to create a simple alert dialog. Creating an alert dialog is very easy. I will explain you every line while creating the first dialog. After that we can just use the same lines for other dialogs as well. First add alert dialog. Here you can find two libraries, select Android X library because it is the latest one and create builder variable, new alert dialog dot builder. So this is the activity instance alert dialogs dot this. Initially I just wanted to display a message with a single button. What is the message that you are going to display on alert dialog? You can set using set message method and add OK button using set positive button method. Now add this method in the first button on click action. And mainly you have to call builder.show in this method. Otherwise your alert dialog will not get displayed. See this is the alert dialog that just now I have created. Well done you completed the second round. Now I will change this dialog little bit. I will add icon and title and some more buttons to it. There is one positive button already added. Now I am going to add negative button. Here I uh, mainly one point I have to tell you that is we can add only maximum three buttons to the alert dialog created using this builder class. If you want to add more than three buttons you have to create custom dialog only. Here I am adding the neutral button as third button. And now run the app. This is the alert dialog I have created just now with three buttons. So if you click on the back button here, it is closing the alert dialog. So if you don't want that to happen, then you have to add builder dot set cancelable false. So when adding this, when you click on the back button, the alert will not get closed. See, so only on clicking on those buttons, the alert is getting closed. So this way you can prevent the alert closing on back action. 
Now I have a requirement to show this particular alert dialog at the bottom of the screen. For this I have to set the gravity. So set gravity, gravity dot bottom. Now run the app. See the alert is displayed at the bottom of the screen. If I select top, the alert is displayed in the top of the screen. So I will make it center only. So this is how it is displayed. Now let's handle the second button that is adding traditional single choice dialog for the second button. So for this first add a method and give the action for the second button. Create the alert dialog builder variable how we have created in our previous method and set the title. In this uh, uh, single choice dialog we have to add some list of items. So here I will add set items method. For this items method we have to supply array of items. So in values I have to create arrays.xml. So here I have created two arrays that is colors and uh, ingredients. So I am going to use colors now. And also add on click listener. So in this on click you can uh, give any action whatever you want here that int which is nothing but whatever the item you have selected so when I run the app you can see the list of items with the title pick a color now I will show you how to get the selected item from the list so first take the colors array into string array string array colors equal to now from that colors string array get the color using the int variable which and set a toast message on selection of the list item now if you select any item from the list you can see a toast message with the color name The same way we will handle the next button now that is persistent single choice dialog button. But here you have to select set single choice items method. In the previous um, uh, method we have selected set items but here we have to sel select set single choice items because it will display the radio buttons by selecting this method. Now I am copying the same uh, on click action here and setting the positive and negative buttons. Now call this method in on button click and set the on click method in XML. Run the app. Now when you select here you can see the radio buttons and on selection you can see a toast message also the same way we will handle the next button that is persistent multi choice dialog but here we have to use set multi choice items method and here i am giving ingredients array as a parameter now set positive and negative buttons and call this method on button click give the on click action and run the app see here you can select multiple items now let's validate the selected items take the array list of the selected items take the string array now go to on click so on selection of any item we will add the particular item into the selected items array and if deselected then we will remove that particular item from the selected items array and in the positive button we will show how many uh, items are selected now run the app and select some items from the list and click on ok you can see the toast message with the number of items selected but on clicking the ok button the alert is closing right so to prevent that take the alert dialog and get the 
positive button from the alert dialog variable. Now give the on click action for this positive button and set the null variable for the initialization of positive button. Now if you select the items click on OK button. Here you can see the alert dialog still open. Now we have created different types of alert dialogs right. So we will see now how to customize these alerts uh, like uh, by giving uh, uh, different text color or different background color for the buttons and all. So this we are going to achieve using themes that is in the themes we have to add some styles. So first I am going to add alert dialog theme. Here I am selecting material alert dialog theme as a parent uh, parameter and for this theme I will add some items to customize the buttons. In my last video for material button I explained about material button styles right. So the same styles I am going to apply here. I have applied the contained button style for positive button and I am setting the text color and changing the background color also. Same way I have selected the outline button style for the negative button and text button style for my neutral button. Set these button styles in the alert dialog theme and add this uh, uh, theme to the alert dialog builder. Now run the app. See here we can see the button styles changed. Okay, the positive button background color is not changed. So here I have to set background tint parameter instead of background. So now the color has updated. But you can see there is no gap between uh, positive and uh, negative buttons. So for this we have to add margin. So here I am selecting layout margin 2 dp. Now you can see the gap between those two buttons. Now let's add icons also for positive and negative buttons. I have added set positive button icon and set negative button icon. I have already uh, copied these two icons. So I will run the app. Here you can see the um, button styles changed. But for other alert dialogs the buttons are not changed. So let's update the, uh, let's apply the theme for those buttons also. Now you can see the button styles updated for all the alert dialogs. But here uh, the title color has not changed. So for that I am adding text color primary variable. So here I am selecting blue color. Now if I run here the title color also changed. But here the color uh, for the selection is not updated. It is still in green color. So for that I will add color accent in the theme. Now if you run the app you can see the selection color change to blue. So this way we can customize all the alert dialogs created using alert dialog builder class. Now let's see how to add a custom dialog. For this we have to first create a layout file. So here I have I am creating the layout file that is um, custom underscore dialog and root element selected as relative layout. Now for this relative layout I am going to customize however I want. I want the items to be added to the layout. So this is the dialog I am going to create. So for this I am going to add all the uh, fields, text fields and buttons one by one.
So I have created the layout. Now let's see how will it display. For that, let's add um, that particular uh, layout file what we have created in the custom dialog method. So for this, here we are going to deal with layout in Flatter class. So define the layout in Flatter and specify the custom dialog XML layout here. Now set the view and call the show method. Now call this method in the button click action. So set the on click action and now run the app. So this is how it is displayed. But it's still not looking good. So let's customize more. So I have changed the view little bit. Now if I run the app, this is how it is displayed. Now I want the icon, the Android Studio icon to be as floating icon. For this, we have to add some top margin for linear layout and drag the icon in between the relative layout and linear layout. So I drag the icon out of the linear layout and align in the middle. Now set the alert dialogs window background as transparent background. Because only by making this window background transparent, we can add our custom background to the dialog. So let me create an XML file to create background for this dialog. Here I will create a white rectangle shape and add corner radius to make it look like rounded rectangle. Now set this drawable as background for the linear layout. And now run the app. See, this is how we can create a custom dialog. Now let me change the font for the text. So select the font for the text and run the app now. See, font also updated. But what about the click events on the custom dialog? I will show you how to give an on-click action for the cancel image. So in the custom dialog method, first declare the image view and to get the view, we have to specify the ID. So set the ID for that cancel image in the XML and specify the ID in the code and get the view. Now add onClick listener and give an action on click event. Here I am just closing the dialog on cancel click. Now if you run the app and uh, click on the cancel button, the custom dialog is closed. So this is how we can create different types of alert dialogs in Android. So the first one is simple alert dialog and the second one is traditional single choice dialog. Third one is persistent single choice dialog that is radio buttons. And the fourth one is persistent multi choice dialog. These are the check boxes list. And the final one is custom dialog. This custom dialog we have created using XML file. I will show you the code for XML also. So this is the XML for the custom dialog. Hope this video has helped you to create an alert dialog as per your requirement in your project. Please comment and like the video and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos like this. Thank you.